Okay kids, good luck with your test in school today, see you later. Shit 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 I'm gonna be late to class. Ah, Tim for once you're on time for class, what were your fagola moves? Moves I learned from your mom. Okay class, two announcements. The first quarter and marking period ends in a few weeks on Thursday, November 4th. You will get report cards that need to be signed and brought back to school on the first day of quarter 2 on Friday, November 5th. If they don't get brought in I will be in your room at night and scream at you until you bring it in. Also the other announcement is there's no school on this Monday for Indigenous Peoples Day. Don't come to school or you'll be alone. That's what she said. Today you also have a test, I'll pass them out now. Good, everyone finished, now we will play Kahoot, go on yo computers and log into Kahoot. Get out of here people, and remember don't come to school on Monday. Hello Daniel and Josh, get in the car and let's go. Now time to drive recklessly through town. Ha 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 ha. Watch out people Dennis Stevenson come in through move aside. Ha 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 yes. Okay kids, we're home now get out the car. How was your football practice Daniel? Great, other than when someone hit someone's car. Let's watch GNN now, it's 5.30. Good evening, and welcome to GNN News, I'm your host Scott Heath. Last week's Great Danes football game was a disaster, Albany lost 15-20 to to Delaware. Also we once again want to remind everyone that Halloween is only 23 days away. Decorate your house with spooky decorations and lights, and buy up a ton of candy before it's too late. Dennis, I just got an email from the high school about new after-school activities come look. What's this Judy? You know the Great Danes lost last week. Look, the email says new after-school activities including homework help and news report where students can be in videos to put on the school district's official YouTube channel and website. They're starting later this year probably because of COVID. Holy shit. That's a really good idea, Daniel and Josh will be in high school videos, I'll go tell them the news. Hey Daniel and Josh I have some good news. Yeah what is it dad? We just got an email from the high school regarding after school activities and, hey, wait a second, Josh why do you have that mischievous look on your face? No reason. I feel like that's bull honky but whatever. We just got an email from the high school regarding new after-school activities, the one that looked like a really good idea was news report where you guys can be in news videos to put on the school district's website and YouTube channel, how about you guys join it and we'd love to see you in videos. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that actually ain't a bad idea at all, I can't wait to be on news report videos for school. Wow. You guys actually agreed, I wasn't expecting that at all, I'm excited for this. So let me get this straight Daniel, you and your brother are gonna be in the school news reports. Yup, I'm gonna be in the school news reports and I'm excited for it too. Daniel that's a great idea, I might wanna join you. I agree, I want to join you too. Thanks guys, you can all join me if you want. Attention, this is Principal Albany, and if you want to sign up for a news report after school, be sure to stop by the cafeteria at dismissal time to pick up sign up sheets. You guys must be here to sign up for a news report. Yup, we're all here to sign up for news report. Here's two full tables of sign up sheets right behind me, take some and bring it back to me ASAP, it starts next Tuesday. Shit! I'm already drunk as hell.
This is perfect, you guys. We got the sign-up sheets for News Report. Daniel and Josh, did you guys pick up the News Report after school sign-up sheets? Yes, we did. Perfect. Give me those sheets and I'll sign you guys up right away. This after she cool news report's gonna be a big success. It's not fair. Why don't I get to be in school YouTube videos? I agree. Why don't I get to be in the school district's YouTube videos? QC girls are still in middle school. Stephanie, you're in 8th grade. You won't be in high school till next year. And Victoria, you're in 7th grade. You won't be in high school for another two years. If you're in news report after school, report to the auditorium within the next five minutes. This is really exciting. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to news report for the first semester, I'm Mr. Eric Fenton I run news report, some of you may know me if you're in my Algebra 1 class which most of you are, before we get started let's introduce ourselves. I'm Mr. Eric Fenton. I run News Report as I just said. I'm Andrew. I like watching bowling on TV. I'm Tim. I like bowling on Friday nights. I'm William. I like bowling on weekend nights. I'm Daniel. I like bowling on weekends too. My name's Joshua. I like watching Mark Player and playing basketball. I'm Linda. I work at Best Buy and I like to go bowling on weekends. I'm Jane, I still hate bowling. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Jane, how dare you still hate bowling, that's it. You're gonna be the least popular anyway, so you're getting kicked out of this program. Get out now. <laughs> now let's get started with the video clips. Now, today's news is there was an incident in the gym where someone broke someone else's collarbone while playing basketball, and also the Albany High School football team won against New York City last week. Andrew, you're up first, okay? Action! What's up people of Albany? Today's news at the high school is some guy broke Jimmy's collarbone in gym. Cut! I never s- the guy's name, and it's not Jimmy, we're not giving the guy's name, okay take two, action! What's up people of Albany, today's news at the high school is some guy broke someone's collarbone during basketball, and also the Albany high school football team won against. Wait, which city did Albany win against last week? Cut, for Pete's sake Andrew, New York City, you know what let's just do the next person who's actually intelligent, okay Tim, you're gonna talk about someone breaking the water fountain by the gym and someone else vandalizing the restroom, action. What's up peeps? Your boy Tim from AHS here, someone broke the water fountain and someone vandalized the restroom, peace out y'all. Ha 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 very funny Tim next, Daniel you're gonna talk about a car nearly crashing into our school yesterday, action. What's up people of AHS, your boy Daniel here, today's date is Tuesday October 19th and yesterday a car nearly crashed into our school, peace out. William, Linda and Josh are next gonna talk about someone stealing Sammy Un's car last Wednesday. Action! What's up peeps, your hammies William, Linda and Josh here with news from OHS. Last Wednesday some homie stole someone the homie's car ran into a building. If you see this person contact the PD to win free money peace out. Nice job everyone except Andrew, we'll do this again next week. So Daniel and Josh, how did your first day of news report go? It was great. We were there with Andrew, Tim, Linda, and William, and the director thought we were all funny. We were talking about events that happened at school over the past week, like some of them had to do with vandalism, and it was funny. Yeah, I agree. It was fun doing this. I can't wait till next week. I still wish that I could be in a program like that. I agree with Stephanie, this sucks that Daniel and Josh are getting all the attention I deserve. Shut up girls, that's great to hear guys, I knew this news report after school program was gonna be a big success. Welcome back to news report everybody, before we get started the school wants us to make improvements to the videos, 
It wants us to give more detailed speeches, for example the videos should be longer and this time each person is gonna talk about one subject, ok let's get started. Ok Andrew, you're gonna talk about a guy smoking weed in the bathroom today and getting suspended for the next three weeks, action. What's up people of Albany, today's news at the high school is someone smoked weed in the bathroom, it's unknown who it is, but the person got suspended for the next three weeks, that's all I have to say. Josh and Tim you're up next, you're gonna talk about a drunk driver crashing into the sign in front of our school yesterday, action. What's up peeps, today's news at the high school is that some drunk driver crashed into the sign in front of the high school yesterday. The person hasn't been identified, but he has a blue collar shirt and jeans and has a red 2019 Mercedes Benz, if you know this person contact the PD. Okay, I don't know how the hell you know that but whatever. Next, Linda, Daniel and William, you're lastly gonna talk about the Halloween party at the school this Friday, October 29th. Action! What's poppin' people of Albany? Albany High School has an epic Halloween party this Friday, October 29th, 5pm to 8pm. Don't miss it, it ain't like you're gonna miss trick or treating on Halloween, that's all for now, peace out yell. That was perfect everyone, better than last time, see you next week. Attention this is Mr. Albany, and I want to announce the news report program did very well yesterday, and they are being put on best news report of the county of the month, congratulations to Daniel and Josh Stevenson, Tim Petrin, and William Crawford, that's all for now. Congratulations Dan and Josh for being put on best news reports of Albany County of the Month, this calls for a pizza night.